ma'am, it doesn't seem so in this case now, does it? Where exactly were you? In the sky. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sophie, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Top Gun. It is about a pilot and Tom Cruise is in it, that much I know. As you can judge by the title, I have never seen it before and it's gonna be my first time reaction to this movie. I'm very excited. I know there is like a second movie that came out pretty recently, like in the past, I don't know, maybe five years, something like that. And we will react to this movie as well, I think. If I like this one, that is. And that's what we're gonna find out. <laughs> Before we hop into this, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, follow me on my socials, all the links are in the description as usual. And without further ado, let's jump right in. I love this music. It's kind of a, like a, a sexy music. On March 3rd, 1969, the United States Navy established an elite school for the top 1% of the pilots. Its purpose was to choose the lowest art of aerial combat and to ensure that the handful of men who graduated were the best fighter pilots in the world. They succeeded. Today, the Navy called it Fighter Weapons School. The flyer school that's Top Gun. This is gonna be Top Gun. Yeah. Nice. So these are like the, the most elite pilots you can ever find. The most skillful. I don't know what it's gonna do to my viewing experience, but I literally know nothing about aviation. Okay, I get it. This is the movie with the credits at the beginning of the movie. I mean, I get it. People who worked on this movie deserve to get the credits. You know, I want to see the movie, <laughs> but props to you guys. I think you worked well. I can't even make this judgment because I, I haven't seen the movie yet. What if it's a bad movie? <laughs> Let's go. That's so sick. Like, the fact that people came up with the concept of planes blows my mind. Ghost Rider, this is Strike. We have unknown aircraft. Unknown. Great. Maverick and Goose. What's wrong? Are they bad, Maverick and Goose? E Cougar, you hook them. Roger, and I'll clean them and fry them. <laughs> They're having so much fun. I've got him inbound. Bogey heading 270 at 10 miles. It's so interesting that there is like a special lingo when it comes to piloting, uh, aviation and like just army as well. Like why do you need code names? You guys are such children. <laughs> Honestly, like who came up with that? Are we supposed to have visitors today? Negative, sir. It's quite scary, actually. Like, they are supposed to warn each other if they're entering the zone, I think. Told you, I know nothing about aviation. But this, I think it's just common sense. Uh, Cougar, I'm gonna go head to head with them. Ooh. Take it easy, Maverick. I don't like this shit. Yeah, me neither. 250 miles, get him out of here. What is going on? This is quite aggressive. It's coming around on our tail. God damn it, this bogey's all over me. Why, though? I'm going for missile lock. Let's see if we can scare missile this guy lock. out of here. See? Nowadays, it will be so much harder. Like, because of the drones, like, they exist. And, I don't know, somebody can just send a drone and you're cooked. But maybe they don't fly that high. I don't know. Do not fire until fired upon. There they are, right below us. I don't know. I don't like this. Back hard right. Help me engage. Ooh, this is so nerve-wracking. Like, you're literally somebody's target. I can't shoot this son of a bitch. Let's see if we can have a little fun with him. A little fun with him? Is this your idea what are you doing? Man? Greetings! <laughs> Yo! Watch the birdie! Jeez, I cracked myself up. Did he just take a photo? Now that is sick. That was sick. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it, man. You need, like, iron walls to be a pilot. Oh, I don't like this. Get yourself together, man. You need to go home. We are way low on gas, you understand me? Oh, he's panicking. Cougar! What are you doing? What are you doing? You're low on gas. You're okay, Cougar. Stay on my wing, I'll take you all the way in. That's Just crazy. Stay with me. Dude, imagine if you're his buddy, uh, like if you're his co-pilot, if you're in the same boat, I almost said boat, in the same aircraft, I would fucking die. <laughs> no, that is so nerve-wracking. 
Just walk in the park, buddy. <laughs> walk in the park. It probably is for them. Like, they've done the drills. I'm assuming, like, they're professionals. Pull up, Cougar. That's it. It's true, you forget all your training when you get nervous. Oh, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Power! 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 Damn it! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. you're gonna be fine. We're I'm fine. In. That was... I almost gave birth. My wife and kids, sir. I almost orphaned them today, I've never even seen them. Oh, yo, that's so bad. I'm holding on too tight. I lost the edge. This dude, I've seen him in so many things. Do I remember the name? Nope. Absolutely not. He is leaving. Cougar. He made the right decision, though. Maverick, you just did an incredibly brave thing. And stupid at the same time. What you should have done was land your plane. You don't own that plane, the taxpayers do. Yeah, you disrespected his orders. You lost your qualifications as section leader three times. Put Ooh. in hack twice by me. With a history of high speed passes over five air control. Are you not a team player? He is the team player. But he doesn't do well with orders, with like taking orders and following the instructions. Just want to serve my country, be oh. the best fighter pilot in Navy, sir! You're a hell of an instinctive pilot. And that's your problem. And I got another problem here. I gotta send somebody from this squadron to Miramar. Is this promotion? You'll be flying a cargo plane full of rubber <laughs> dog shit out of Hong Kong. Yes, sir! <laughs> He's like, okay, I screwed up again. A little bit. But it's still got a promotion. <laughs> Dude, I love the soundtrack. I love it. Top Gun was created to teach ACM, air combat maneuvering. Air combat maneuvering. This gives me a hard on. By the end of Vietnam, that ratio was back up to 12 okay. to 1. I mean, everybody's got their kinks. Whatever, I don't judge. You will not find a finer fighter pilot anywhere in the world. This guy, I remember I'm him Mike from Metcalf. something. Maybe Spaceship Troopers. Call sign Viper. Viper. Gentlemen. Viper is a cool name. I want a code name as well. What would it be? Tell me in the comments. Fly at least two combat missions a day, ten classes in between, and evaluations of your performance. This is literally my nightmare. I hate flying. So you're gonna meet a different challenge. Every encounter is gonna be much more difficult. Ooh, rivalry. Gonna... Mm-hmm. I can smell it. Just wondering. Best be sure. Who's the best? In case some of you wonder. Dude, the... it's not a competition. The best driver in his reel from each class has his name on it. Ooh. Okay, it is a competition. You think your name's gonna be on that plaque? Of course they all do. Yes, sir. That's pretty arrogant. Yes, sir. I like that in the pilot. Okay, he's the favorite. This is what I call a target-rich environment. Go see when you can get laid in a place like this. Guys, you're wearing your uniform. Like, honestly, that's plus 10 charisma. Instantly. I don't know what it is about guys in the uniform, but it works. Who's the best pilot? No, I think I can figure that one out on my own. I heard that about you. All of this is just a dick measuring contest. Let's be real. I'll see you later. You can count on it. They were abused children. <laughs> what? You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. I would die. Not everybody likes a public display of, like, feelings. That would be embarrassing. Honestly, just just saying. Maybe, but maybe, <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's going great. Sit down. Thank you. He's like, I'll give you a chance. Just please stop that. No, actually, we've only done this uh, twice. Crashed and burned on the first one. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> okay, it was your first attempt. The second? I don't know. I'll tell you tomorrow, but it's looking good so far. That is smooth. Perry. Hi. Hi. Here you go. Oh, I'll be with you in just a second. Oh, she has a date. He's too old, girly. I think I it's her beer. dad or something. Yo, don't do this. Actually, this counter in mind. What is he doing? Actually, I came in here to save you from making a big mistake with that old guy. I would be weirded out. I think I would be kind of... Yeah, I would feel uncomfortable. Definitely. I've got to be at work very early in the morning. Your friend was magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> she
She's so cool. She's also a civilian contractor, so you do not salute her. It's her. It's all yours, Charlie. Thank you. Yeah, it is her, of course. Hello? That is so embarrassing. The F5 doesn't have the thrust to weight ratio that the MiG-28 has. And she was like, are you a good pilot? Well, we'll see. That's classified. I have top secret clearance. The Pentagon sees to it that I know more than you. This you can tell me. Oh, well, ma'am, it doesn't seem so in this case now, does it? Where exactly were you? In the sky. <laughs> well, if you were directly above him, how could you see him? Because I was inverted. <coughs> and we have a picture to prove it. So you're the one. Oh, he is notorious. Yes, ma'am. He does have a reputation. I'd just really like to hear about the MiG sometime. <laughs> okay, she's hooked. We've got security clearance. You can read about it. That's a smart move, but he's a player. <laughs> he is a freaking player. <laughs> Yo. The fact that this is like their day-to-day -day life. Just imagine. I got him. I literally cannot imagine how mentally stable you should be for a job like this. I would lose my sanity after like the first flight. When you hit the brakes, she'll fly right by. Okay, hit you're the mine. Brakes. Is this a common maneuver? <laughs> yep, I don't think so. Dude. That's impressive. How do you not like lose focus or like sense of orientation? They've been up in the air doing the they got him. Just as dead. Yeehaw! <laughs> Get your butts above the hard deck and return to face immediately. I think he's happy with their performance. Though it was definitely like an uncommon, I think. Like they've used some uncommon tactics. This is Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. What are you doing? <laughs> he is a bit of a show off. Well, we did. We got Jester. We no, did. no. Below the hard deck does not count. Well, yeah, they don't play by the book. They bend the rules. What's the matter? Like, the result is still the same. I think that's what counts. You're everyone's problem. That's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. It is a problem, though. You and Goose get your butts out of that flight gear and up the Viper's office now. Oof, 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 oof. They're gonna get their butts kicked now. Oh, oh. God damn it! Pack twice! <laughs> I want some butts! Oh, he's not having the best day of his life. The hard deck for this hop was 10,000 feet. You knew it, you broke it. I still have no clue what this means. Like, I figured out that they broke some rules. What were the rules? Commander Heatherly in my sights. I had the shot. There was no danger, so I took it. He said, I knew the risk and I took the risk. And broke a major rule of engagement. Ooh. Then you broke another one with that uh, circus stunt flyby. Yeah, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> Top Gun rules of engagement exist for your safety and for that of your team. Either obey them or you are history. Yeah, there should be no room for maneuvers like this. Like, flying is dangerous in itself, but if you break the rules, it gets even more dangerous. Like, life-threatening, we're talking. Maverick. Flew with his old man. Ooh, his dad was a pilot, too. If you had to go into battle, would you want him with him? I don't know. Unpredictable, but brave. Right now, I just hope we graduate. I got a family to think about. I can't afford to blow this. That's true. And if you have a partner, like, if one is out, the whole team is out, you're responsible not only for yourself and your career and your future, but for the future of your partner as well. That is something to keep in mind, for sure. Man, I know it's tough for you. I wouldn't let you in the academy because you're Duke Mitchell's kid. So his dad was a legend, right? You're the only family I've got. Oh. I'm not gonna let you down, I promise you. Well, I hope so. I definitely hope so. on a hard cross, I could immediately go to guns on him. It's a little bit too aggressive. Just like everything he does. Yeah, I guess when I see something, I go right after it. That's true. We do remember that from the beginning of the movie. You were tempted to ask me out for dinner. <laughs> He's no. way too arrogant. I don't date students. Ooh, eat that. Dinner tonight? Ah! All right. Why do people love to turn everything into competition so much? Like, it's not just a guy thing. Girls do. You need to get out of your comfort zone. 
and that's like one of the incentives is to be better than somebody else. But I don't know, it's just so much stress. Just one more game, that evens it up. Well, we can take that. Hey, he has plans. Care of just one more game. No, she's at 5:30 sharp. I guess it's hoes before bros. <laughs> He's late. Oh no, no, no. And he probably stinks too. No singing? He came here right after the game. Well. It's the me. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm trying for this big promotion at work, and if I get it, I'm not gonna be here much longer. He's like, so I'm not gonna tell you then. So you'll stay here with me. Relax about the thing. He is eating her with his eyes. To be fair though, she's doing the same. <laughs> okay, okay guys. They they caught the vibe. Okay. It's music. My folks loved it. What happened to them? She died shortly after him. What happened to your father? Did he die at work? Big mystery. He disappeared. In an F4, November 5th, 1965. Oh, that's the worst. When you don't know what happened to him, there is no way of knowing. That's the worst. Like, there is no closure. Is that why you're always second best up there? You are direct, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, she is pretty straightforward. It looks like you need another shower. She looks hot. <laughs> I don't normally invite students to my house. You're, uh... Special. Yeah, we got it. But un please understand, I still have a job to do. I'm glad we got that straight. Is he still gonna go for it? <gasps> He's not going for a kiss, okay. He respects her boundaries. That's a good man. So, Maverick! Goose tells me you're in love with one of your instructors! <laughs> <laughs> Just told her everything. I, I, I didn't tell her that. Yes, you did. I, I, yes, you I did. can't believe If you don't tell your girl all the hot gossip, what are you even doing? Honestly, tell her everything. If you think you're dead. Well, that's a big gamble with a $30 million plane, Lieutenant. As usual. It's an example of what not to do. Lieutenant! Don't be a douchebag. You know you made the wrong choice. It was not the safest choice. Let's put it this way. And my plane comes first! Well, I'm going to finish my sentence, Lieutenant! Fiery couple. I was afraid that everyone in that tax trailer would see right through me without falling through. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I know what she means. Oh, we're in the bedroom already, okay. I wonder how many actors fall in love with each other on set. Like, when you have to film scenes like this? First of all, you have to film them, like, hours and hours on end because you obviously need to film from like different angles so you have to repeat the same scene so many times and like you spend so much time on set with your co-workers and i don't know it's just hard i think to resist the temptation i don't like the tongue shots i don't know let's just ew guys I feel like I'm interrupting something. Like, let's just move on. I feel the need, the need for speed. <laughs> Don't get too cocky, though. Viper's up here. He's probably saying, "Holy shit, it's Maverick and Goose." Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure he's. I think everybody's saying that if they know they're up against Maverick and Goose, because they're too unpredictable. Roger, I'm on a. Oh my god, the sounds are so loud in this movie. Makes me a little bit uneasy. Don't you leave me, Maverick. Hollywood, you're looking good. I'm Don't do anything reckless. Don't leave him. Ghost, Hollywood's okay. No. I want no. Viper. Come on. He is not a team player. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Bingo, Maverick's dead. You're out of there, kid. Yeah, you got... Too cocky. That was some of the best flying I've seen yet. Right up to the part where you got killed. Never, never leave your wingman. Yeah, I mean, some rules are established for a reason. I understand that, like, he has godly instincts when it comes to flying and, like, deciding on the maneuvers. But sometimes you just have to play by the book. Right now, you're worse than the enemy. You're dangerous and foolish. He's right. You may not like the guys flying with you, they may not like you. Whose side are you 
I hate to agree with him, but he's got a point. Did he ever embarrass you? Goose hell no. He told me all about the time you went ballistic with Penny Benjamin. I mean, he has no secrets from his wife. That is a good man. You know, I've known Pete for a lot of years now. Pete? Is that his real name, Pete? Because unless you are a fool, a boy is off the market. <laughs> he is 100% prime time in love with you. Oh, she's so happy to hear it. So they're not even hiding that they're together now. Is that okay? Well, it's bottom of the ninth. The score is tied. It's time for the big one. Oh, the score is tied. Yep, for this one, Maverick. Just a walk in the park, Kazansky. And they are up against each other. This is gonna be interesting. Something tells me it's not gonna end well. I can take a shot right here. I need another 20 seconds, then I've got him. He's playing dirty. I'm off. Shit! We're in a jet wash! Oh! Oh! Oh no 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 What do you mean the engines are oh no oh no oh Head forward Goose I can't reach the ejection handle What Thank goodness I hope both of them are alright Oh no 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 Oh god! That's blood. This is blood. Oh no, 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 no. It can't be it. No, no. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. What the fuck? They did everything right this time. I mean, I knew something would happen. You gotta let him go, sir. And it was not their fault this time. Ghost is dead. I know. I mean, I knew something would happen. It is just logical, because it's a movie, and we need something to happen. And obviously, like, he was his best friend, his only family left. Of course, he was, like, destined to die in this movie. That still sucks. You gotta let him go. You gotta let him go. Easier said than done. For sure. I'll be here if you need me, okay? It's really hard, like... You can't actually do anything. God, you love flying with you, Maverick. Oh, stop. I'm gonna cry. Induce a spin which was unrecoverable. Unrecoverable. So they couldn't do anything. Lieutenant Mitchell's record will be cleared of this incident. Lieutenant Mitchell is restored to flight status without further delay. The incident will be cleared from his record. It's a shame he can't erase it from his memory and bring Goose back. <laughs> I don't know how you can continue after something like that. Like, PTSD is a real thing. It doesn't look good. What do you mean it doesn't look good? It doesn't get to look any better than that. He can do it now. Hey, man, we could have had him. Hey, we could have had him, man. Stop. I will fire when I am goddamn good and ready. You get that? First they tell him he's too careless. Now they tell him you should have gone for it. Man cannot catch a break. Like, his best friend just died. Cut him some slack. Don't say anything stupid, please. I'm sorry about Goose. Everybody liked him. I'm sorry. Okay. That was decent. That was decent. I heard you got that uh, job in Washington. Congratulations. Oh, A promotion? That's good for her. Listen, I've seen all the evidence and it's not your responsibility. It doesn't make it better, though. To be the best of the best means you make mistakes and then you go on as you will overcome your grief and you will have this like desire to go back don't screw up your chances now you didn't learn a damn thing did you except to quit oh girl that's so harsh i flew with the old man you 51 they risk any so he went through this right Kinda, he had the same situation. His partner died. Is that why you fly the way you do? Trying to prove something? You know what? We do so much stupid stuff just to prove something to somebody. To who? No clue. We just want to prove ourselves. Like, as a human being, you just want to stand out. Just to be worthy of something. Because we all naturally assume that we don't deserve stuff. 
when in fact we do. He was wounded, but he could have made it back. He stayed in it, saved three planes before he bought it. He was a hero. You've acquired enough points to show up tomorrow and graduate with your Top Gun class. Or you can quit. Yeah, it's really two options here. The simple fact is you feel responsible for Goose and you have a confidence problem. True. Up there, we gotta push it. That's our job. Yeah, if he feels guilty, he'll never make it. So he has to let it go. Like, he has to let the whole situation go. Oh, poor Rand. Has she already left? You need to come back, man. Like, that's the dream of your life, and you're a natural at it. Yeah, he showed up. Of course he did. And of course he got the trophy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That's nice. Maverick, you'll get your Rio when you get to your ship. And if you don't, give me a call. I'll fly with you. Oh my god. That's so sweet. That's so sweet of him to offer. <laughs> this is what you've been trained for. You are America's best. <laughs> He's really hyping them up. This is not personal. But with regard to Maverick, is he the best I know it's on your mind, Kazansky. Just get on it. He doesn't trust Maverick. That is bad. I think in this field, like, trust is everything. There's 15,000 feet now. Dead ahead. 10 miles. Airspeed is still increasing. You can do this. Come on. You can. Now I'm breaking up four aircraft on the radar. Not one pair, two pair. Repeat four bogeys. Oh, four. Um, they're definitely not ready. Oh, no. Right left! I'm hit! I'm hit! We're coming apart! You need to eject. Oh. Yeah, we're coming to the left! Three makes dead ahead, coming down the left side. Yo, these shots are amazing, though. I wonder how they filmed all of this. Maverick, we got a big on our tail! Yeah, that's insane. Shit, we just flew right through his jet wash! It's like the situation is freaking repeating itself. Maverick's just engaging! I knew it! Shit! Damn! Damn it, Maverick! It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maverick's re-engaging, sir! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's do this. Good tone. I got good tone. I got tone, I got tone! Mm. Fire it! Yes, that's right. Okay, we're back in the game. Break left! Break left! Oh, that's insane. Got two MiGs dead ahead. I got him, Matt. One MiG passing between us. I mean, he's gonna save ice. <laughs> or he's gonna die doing it. We got a MiG coming around on our tail. We gotta get out of here. I can't leave ice. Yeah, he won't do this. One. Break right! Yo, I'm sweating. Damn it! Missed! Don't let him go! <laughs> Yo, I'm sweating. Like, ugh. Come on, just hit him. Yo, good job. We've only got one missile left. One missile left. One missile left. And it's gonna hit. Yeah. That was insane. Requesting flyby. <laughs> Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. No flybys, nope. He's gonna spill his cough again. Yeah, let's go. You deserve all the praise you get. Yeah. Yeah, you did it, guys. You did it. You are still dangerous. But now you're on my team. <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. Oh. You can be mine. I love them. I love them so much. That was so cool. I mean, Goose will forever be in his memories. But it's not like these memories are not holding him back anymore. It's gonna be this song, come on. I can already see it. She's gonna sing the freaking song. Of course. Of course. Of course it is her. The first one I crashed and burned. And the second? You tell me. Thank God. They didn't show them kiss again. That was awful. Okay. That was Top Gun. Honestly. It was great, it was like perfect. So much action, I don't know. It was just what I needed. 
it was so much fun. I didn't get bored. Like I didn't even catch myself looking at the clock, you know, to check how much of the movie is left because it was so good. <laughs> the stakes were really high in this movie. Yes, like the death of Goose was kind of predictable. You needed a conflict in the movie, obviously. And you need some challenges for your main character to overcome, to grow, to learn from them, you know what I mean? Emotionally, it hit me, even though I knew it was coming, kinda. And that's a sign of a great movie, if you ask me. So definitely tell me in the comments if you want me to react to the sequel. I think it's a sequel. Like, it's a second movie, anyway. <laughs> uh, even though it came out like 30 years after the first one, something like that. Which should be interesting. And tell me what you think about this movie. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.